your teacher Maureen and welcome to my class. If it's your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn some basic English, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the 30 plus words that are commonly mispronounced by a lot of people, including the students, some of the professionals, and some of the teachers. <gasps> really? Really? Yes, it's a natural thing, people, because we are not native speakers of English. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun na hindi na natin aaralin ang mga ito. Mahalaga pa rin na pag-aralan natin ang pronunciations dahil nga minsan yan ang nagiging cause ng bullying sa loob ng class. <coughs> dahil lang sa iisang word, nagkakaroon na ng bansag ang isang bata. Nagkakaroon na ng nickname ang isang bata according to how he or she pronounced this word. Halimbawa, sinabi ng bata no, I'm, it's so scary. Diba? Tapos the whole school year, ang magiging tawag na sa kanya, Uy, iskiri man, iskiri. Diba? Kaya minsan itong mga mispronunciations na ito nagiging pahamak sa mga buhay natin at sa mga estudyante. Bilang mga teachers, we also need to learn how to pronounce words correctly kasi tayo ang main source of information ng mga bata. Alam niyo ba, maniwala kayo sa hindi, ang pinaniniwalaan ng mga bata ay ang mga teachers. Kahit sabihin ng mga magulang nila na, Uy, hindi ganyan ang tamang pronunciation yan. Ang tamang pronunciation yan ay ganito. Makikipag-away ang kanilang mga anak sa kanilang mga magulang dahil sa mas naniniwala ang mga estudyante estudyante, ang mga bata, sa mga teachers nila. Di, hindi ko yung ganyan yung pronunciation niya. Kasi sabi ng teacher ko, tortoise daw yun eh. Hindi naman tortoise, hindi naman tortoise yun eh. Oy, sabi kaya ng teacher ko, tortoise, tortoise kaya ang tamang bikas doon, hindi kaya tortoise. Hindi marunong yung teacher mo. O. Oh. O, oh, ba? Thus, early as now, if you are listening, you are very lucky because I'm going to teach you how to read and how to pronounce these words. So, ayan na nga po, bago natin simulan at talakayin ang 30 plus mispronounced words, ay huwag niyo pong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang bell button para nga po sa ating mga susunod pang mga lessons sa mga susunod pang mga araw. So, let's begin with our first word. Sige nga, paano niyo nga basahin ito? O, oh, alam ko yung nasa utak nyo. Ang basa nyo dito ay amibiasis, no? Alam nyo ba na ito pala ay pronounced as amibiasis? Amibiasis. Amibiasis. Hindi siya amibiasis. Amibiasis. Ang ating second word ay kadalasang na -e encounter sa ating science class. Ito na-encounter ko nung nag-aaral ako. My teachers kept on pronouncing this as trachea. Trachea. Pero, alam nyo ba na ang pronunciation nito ay trachea? <gasps> Tulugo. Trachea? Hindi pala siya trachea, no? Kasi nung nag-aaral ako, ang banggit ko rito ay trachea. Seriously, trachea. Pero, nung ni-research ko, ang tamang bigkas pala dito ay trachea. Trachea. Trachea is your windpipe. Our third word is a figure of speech, meaning there is an exaggeration of your statement. Or in Filipino, this is pagmamalabis. Alam niyo ba kung anong word ito? Very good. That is hyperbole hyperbole at hindi siya hyperbole. One time kasi may naabutan ako sa klase ko, nag-aaway sila dahil sa word na ito. The other girl was saying, Miss, di ba po English major po kayo? Ano po ba talaga ang tamang pronunciation nito? Hyperbole po ba or hyperbole? Kasi pinipilit itong kaklase ko, hyperbole daw. So, tingnan ninyo ang effect ng pronunciation kahit sa klase nag-aaway sila. So, that is why we need to correct all these mispronunciations. Okay? The correct pronunciation of this word is hyperbole. Hyperbole, not hyperbole. Let's have our fourth word. It is January. January. It's January. Our fifth word is February. February. When's your birthday? It's on the 14th of February. February. Our next word is one of the words that I overheard during a conversation of the students. Sabi nung isa, Napaka coward mo. Dapat pagbahal mo yung isang tao, dapat courageous ka. Ipagtapat mo kung ano yung nararamdaman mo sa kanya. You're such a chicken. You're such a coward, di ba? Napakaganda ng bitawa ng mga salita, pero mali yung sinasabi na coward. So the correct pronunciation is coward. 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 Our next word is cowboy. 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 Minsan na rin ba kayong nabiktima ng word na ito? Pinatayo kayo sa klase tapos hindi nyo alam kung paano babasahin yan. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the correct pronunciation of this is Denuma. Denuma. Or Denuman. 
denouement. You could somehow hear letter N, denouement. But most of the times, denouement is used. Denouement. The falling action of the story. Denouement. I really love the denouement of the play. I really love the denouement of this novel. I really love the denouement. Again, another word from our English class is synecdoche. 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 Ang sunod nating word naman ay kadalasan natin kinakain at meron niyang different flavors. So this word is pronounced as pizza. Pizza. But we do not say pizza pie because that would be redundant. Because in Italy, in Italy, 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 ang word na pizza ay nangangahulugang pie. O kaya naman ang pie ay nanganghulugang pizza. So when we say pizza pie, it's like we're saying pie pie or pizza pizza. Diba? It's redundant. Again, our word is pizza. Do you like some pizza? Okay, after quarantine, pizza tayo. Ito rin. Isa pa to. Yung sasabi ng mga jowa nyo. Uy, honey, nag-breakfast ka na ba? Breakfast ka na ba, day? Palangga ko, nag-breakfast ka na ba? O diba? Breakfast. Although we say break, Break, but we do not say breakfast, but breakfast. Breakfast. What's your breakfast this morning? Oh, my breakfast was tuyo, sinangag, and red egg. Pulang itlog. Maalat na itlog. Our next words are woman and women. Ano pinakaiba ng dalawang ito? Pag ang tinutukoy natin ay singular, that's woman. Woman. Pag ang binabanggit natin ay iisa lang or singular, yan ay woman. Woman. Pero pag ito ay maramihan, maraming babae, that's women. Women. We men. Our next word is this one. Anong tawag dito? Uh, library na naman. Okay, that's library. 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 Not library. Library. Can you say library? Uh -huh. Library. Library. Library is so happy. Library. 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 Ito namang susunod ay nararanasan natin dito sa Pilipinas. Ito yung tinatawag natin sa Tagalog na tagtuyot. Pero sa English, this is drought. 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 Tagtuyot. Another word na nagpapahirap sa atin ay itong word na ito. Isa lang, T-E-A-R. T-E-A-R. Sometimes we say tear, sometimes we say tear. Both are correct because this word is an example of a homograph. Ang homograph ay meron silang the same spelling but different pronunciation and different meanings too. Halimbawa, bahay natin yung tear. Tear is duha. Mapapansin ninyo yung kanta ni Taylor Swift. He is the reason for my tear drops on my guitar. Ganon. Hindi niya sinabing, He is the reason for the tear drops on my guitar. O, oh, diba? That's tear. Tear. Duha. That is why we have the tear duct here. Tear duct. Makikita ninyo yung butas dyan sa, ng eyes ninyo. Yung butas dyan. Labasan ng luha. That's called a tear duct. Tear duct. And this word is spelled the same but is pronounced differently. We say tear. Tear meaning pune. Why did you tear my shirt? Why did you tear somebody else's notebook? Why did you tear it? Itong word na ito ay kadalasan natin na encounter sa mga phones natin. Meron kayong makikita dyan na word na ito. Makikita niyo tong word na to. Some of you read it as cache, but this word is pronounced cash. Cash. Katunog siya ng cash na pera. Katunog lang siya. Pero magkaiba sila ng meaning. So, this one is again a cash. Don't confuse this with the word cash na pera. Okay? The next word is a little book that is used for teaching children how to read. We have the primary school, but the book they used during the olden times was called a primer. Primer. So, this is a primer, not a primer. Meron tayong primer sa primer sa make a primer sa kung saan-saan. But, if we are pertaining to the small book that is used for teaching children how to read, that is called a primer. Primer. Ang susunod na word naman, title, in the European countries, para sa mga royal families. This one is read Viscount. Viscount and not Viscount. Viscount. Ito naman ay kadalasang nami-mispronounce as henus or hinus. Nagkubit siya ng hinus crime. But the correct pronunciation is heinous. 
heinous. He committed a heinous crime. Heinous. Another mispronounced word is this one. Paano nyo basahin to? Ang ganda ng quote mo. The correct pronunciation of this word is quote. Quote. May kuo tayo. Dapat naririnig yung kuo. Quote. Quote. I love the quote that you've written on your notebook. Quote. Quote. We also have quotation. Quotation. We say question. We do not say question. Quote and quotation. Quote, quotation. Quote, quotation. Our next word is gauge. Gauge, meaning to measure. I'd like to gauge your love for my daughter. I'd like to gauge your math intelligence. So, measure ang katalinuhan mo sa sa science or what's our gauge is the synonym of measure. This word is epitome. Epitome. Okay, hindi siya epitome. It's epitome. Lapu-lapu is the epitome of courage. Sige nga, gumawa nga kayo ng sentence na gamit ang word na epitome. Tama. Attention to all ladies. The next word is this one. Paano nyo basahin to? Ay, dumating na naman ang menstruation ko. May menstruation ako ngayon, kaya nagagalit ako. May menstruation ako ngayon, kaya masakit puson ko. May menstruation ako ngayon, kaya a-absent ako. Sometimes, we abbreviate this to mens. Mens. Maaaring dahil hindi na natin alam kung paano ituloy ito. But this word is read as menstruation. Menstruation menstruation. O minsan sinasabi natin period kasi hindi na natin mabanggit yung menstruation. Menstruation. Ayan, we're down to the 26th word. Bago po tayo magpatuloy, huwag pong kalilimutang mag-subscribe sa aking channel. Okay po? Ayan, let's proceed to the 26th, 26th Word. Ginagamit itong word na to ng mga authors na ayaw magpakilala. Limbawa, controversial. Feeling nila controversial yung mga ginagawa nilang mga istorya. Ay gumagamit sila ng mga ganito para ma-hide yung identity nila. We have Rizal, who used di masalang and laong laan. We have Severino Reyes, who used Lola Basyang. All this time, ang akala natin si Lola Basyang ay babae, pero lalaki po yan. This word is pseudonym. Pseudonym. Pseudonym or pen name. Pseudonym. Hindi yan yung Korean na pseudonym. Pseudonym. Ah. Oh. Oh. Kre, kre. Kamsam nila. Pseudonym niya. Hindi ganon. The next word is a term. At ito ay ginagamit kahit saan sa mga social media sites. On Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. Kahit saan yan, makikita ninyo ang mga ito. And... Ang advantages ng mga ito, for some, ay nakakatawa, nakakatawa, nagpapaligaya. Pero, may mga taong nagka-capture, kinukuha nila ng mga funny reactions yung mga kasama nila, o yung mga nakakatawang mga expressions, tapos ipopost nila online without the consent of the person. So, ang nangyayari ay nagkakaroon ng cyberbullying. Nabubuli itong taong ito dahil sa itsura niya, dahil sa mukha niya, dahil sa expression niya. That is one of the disadvantages of using this one. And this is a meme. Hindi siya meme. It's meme. Meme. Next word is this one. Minsan sinasabi natin, sige nga, paano nyo basahin ito? Oh, toward? Toward somebody? It's toward. 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 Para siyang toward. Toward somebody. Our next word has two pronunciations, one from the Americans and one from the British. For the Americans, they say missile, missile. For the British, they say missile. Both are accepted. Sinama ko itong word na ito dahil baka ma-encounter ninyo sa mga lessons ninyo may magsasabing missile, missile. Tapos i-correct nyo ng, ay hindi, missile yan, missile. It's correct. Both are correct. Missile and missiles are both correct. Pertaining to one, missile, yung ginagamit na weapon, missile or missile. Our next word is oh ito, itong word na to nag-aaway yung mga college students kasi paradigm or paradigm, paradigm daw sabi nito, paradigm nga daw sabi nito. Both are accepted. Katulad ni ng missile at missile, pwede rin siyang bigkasing paradigm at paradigm. So paradigm or paradigm, it's fine. So when you say either and either, neither and neither, both pronunciations are accepted. So paradigm or paradigm, correct. Next is, meron din kasi mga nagtatanong, paano ba talaga banggitin itong ano ito? Mahirap na nga tong gawin, tapos mahirap pang banggitin. Kasi sabi nung iba, thesis. Thesis, ano ba talaga? Okay, so this word is pronounced T. 
thesis, thesis, thesis. Ayan, madali na. Mahirap nga lang gawin ito, pero ang pagbigkas nito, madali na lang. Thesis. Next ay bargain. 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 Pwede bang i-bargain natin ito sa ano? Sa patola, tapos sa yakult. Yan. Bargain. Pagpalit. Ang sunod nating word ay inahalo sa tsokolate. Sa chocolate. This one is spelled C-O-C-O-A. Kadalasan sinasabi ninyong cocoa. Uy, ang sarap ng cocoa. Cocoa. But this one is coco. 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 Our last word is raspberry. Raspberry. We have the silent P there. It's not raspberry, but raspberry. 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 Okay? So ngayon ay babasahin ulit natin yung mga words natin. Isa-isa natin babasahin para ma-review tayo kung paano nga ulit i-pronounce ang mga ito. You could repeat after me. Let's begin. Amibiasis. Amibiasis. Trachea. Trachea. Hyperbole. Hyperbole. January. January. February. February. Coward. Coward. Cowboy. Cowboy. Denouma. Denouma. Breakfast. Breakfast. Synecdoche. Synecdoche. Pizza. Pizza. Woman. Woman. Women. Women. Library. Library. Drought. Drought. Tear. 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 Cash. Cash. Primer. Primer. Viscount. Viscount. Heinous. Heinous. Quote. Quote. Quotation. Quotation. Gauge. Gauge. Epitome. Epitome. Menstruation. Menstruation. Pseudonym. Pseudonym. Meme. Meme. Towards. Towards. Missile. Missile. Bargain. Bargain. Thesis. Thesis. Paradigm. Paradigm. Coco. Raspberry. And that ends our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. This has been your teacher Marine. Bye bye. One, two, three.